Hello, okay, so we're back in the grow room with our RDWC 401S from Grow Rilla Hydroponics. Uh, I hope you can see that our plants are a bit more grown up. Um, when we transplanted our seedlings into the RDWC system, um, we then had the coldest two, three weeks that we've had for 20 or 30 years here in Sweden. The insulation in the grow room was pretty decent, but it, it just couldn't it couldn't handle down to minus 15, 16 in consecutive days. Uh, the little heater here, it did its best. It stayed at around 15, 16 degrees, but it made our plants uh, take up slowly. And um, yeah, they're not as developed as they would be if the temperatures had risen up that higher. They're looking really good now, and they did survive. So check out the roots going on here. This one of our tomatoes and our kale at the back here. So they have found their way down into the nutrient solution and they're looking pretty happy. The spider farm is doing its job. Um, good colour in all the leaves and uh, yeah, the plants look really good. We're going to do some management today. We're going to do a full water change and uh, refill the water and measure EC and pH. And also we're gonna add, do a little maintenance to the plants, take a few leaves off if they're looking like they don't need to be there at the bottom of the stems, and also some more clay balls for stability as these plants start to grow up. They're gonna need to be uh, steady. Um, I'm gonna overlay the uh, temperature and humidity in the room, which is being measured by our little sensor here from Nidus. So you can see, yeah, see what we're working with. I'm in a t-shirt, so you can imagine how warm it is. Okay, so we are going to do a full water change on the RDWC system. Um, it's been it's been here for almost 28 days. Uh, you should really change your water more frequently than that, but it was so cold that the plants weren't really taking up any nutrients or using any water. Um, they have done now, and it's a good time to do full water change and a bit of management. So we've got our water can, watering can here. This is a standard bit of hose pipe, 30 millimeter, half inch. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a length I cut off the hose from the garden. And we're gonna open this valve. Before we do that, uh, there's a couple of things to think about. That the pump inside needs to be running so the water gets pumped out but also it, it can't run dry, so that we'll leave a little bit in the bottom there and show you afterwards. I'm also gonna take the heat rod out, um, just so it's out of the way, and yeah, we can start the process. Okay, cool. So we have our watering can, and the hose pipe is just pushed over the first barb on the end of this uh, piece here, and we're just gonna open this valve, and the water's gonna start coming out. We're also going to close this valve at the bottom here to stop the circulation of the other buckets. And yeah, the water will continue going out into our watering can. So yeah. Okay, cool. So we're getting down to the bottom uh, last bit of water. I'm going to open the valve up again slowly this time. And... Um, when the pump starts to gurgle, we need to turn it off because uh, it can't run dry. Somewhere around there, water level's going to lower. There, yeah, just see the intake now starting to get air. Okay, we'll stop there and unplug the pump. Okay, so as you can see, the a lot of residue in the bottom there, and even a, a small. Uh, Vita Link clay pebbles come through. Uh, in an ideal world, we would completely flush this out and remove all those uh, residue from the bottom there. We're not going to do that this time. These plants are pretty healthy. We're going to fill back up with water. We have made sure the water is not cold. Um, it's actually a little bit warm at about 22, 23 degrees. That should be good for these plants to keep going as they were. Yeah, let's add some water. We got the first 20 litres of water, fresh water back in. I'm going to open the valve again so, so the recirculation can go around. 
and then plug the pump back in. Okay, so we've got uh, most of our water in, and we just wanted to show you, we've got a spare net pot here. Um, we're aiming for about 12 to 13 centimetres, which is uh, two to three centimetres underneath the net pot. This is standard size. If you have a spare one, you can hold it against your control pot there and see the distance to the water. That's so we've done our water change now um, and we've just measured the electrical conductivity in here, the EC. Uh, we did a base test with a glass of water from the same tap and it came out around 740 microsiemens and the level in here is 750. Um, so yeah, we're, we're pretty happy that we've we removed most of the nutrients that might have been in there when we flushed the system. We put the heater back in, the temperature's stabilizing. Um, we've left it circulating for a little while now and we're gonna add more nutrients. Um, we're gonna start adding our nutrients. This is tripart uh, grow. I'm gonna start with that. 110 milliliters for 60 milliliters of water. Micro next and it's 70 milliliters. Finally, uh, Tripart Bloom has 36 millilitres for this system. So we're happy with our electrical conductivity. We're sitting around 1270. Uh, pH is a little bit high at 7.2. We want to be somewhere between 5.5 to 6.5. We're going to use a little bit of BioBiz pH minus. Um, let's see if we can bring that down. Hello, uh, so it's a new day here again. Um, uh, I tested the pH last night, it came out really high. I tested it again this morning, it was still at eight. That was with the BioBiz um, minus, pH minus. So uh, we're gonna go with Terra Aquatica pH minus powder instead. And I've given it one dose already, it's still a little bit high, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more in um, and test the pH again. Give it a stir. We have our pH and EC meter here from Hannah. Cool. And put it in the water. And when the little clock top left there has gone out, then it's got a steady reading. And that is looking much better than eight. Six point two eight. Six point two nine. Great. That is a good result. Just wanted to show you what we're going to be doing in the next video. We have our grow tent set up over here and we've been germinating our chili pepper ready to go in. We're going to set this up, DWC from Grovilla Hydroponics, and yeah, get everything running. Cool. See you then.